Katonda wa Feyeba zipo abo Luganda. Am naiumbe Josephine from Amanya, Entebbe. Amanya gange zena iumbe Josephine from Entebbe. I'm here to to give testimony for what Jesus has did for me. Nzisa wana kuwabu juli zorebe yesu bianko le de. I came here in 2013. I came with the envelope to build for Jesus Christ. When I came here, I had a lot of problems. I had a lot of problems financially. So when I came, I brought my envelope to build for Jesus Christ. I went to to the office to see man of God Nabisamwe Kakande. Nengenda mu office ya Nabisamwe Kakande okumulaba. And I wanted a sponsor for my daughter Chantal Beck Nixon. Era kasera kona linja gala afune sponsor awokuwerera muwala wange Chantal Beck. And here she is. Ye muwala ona ali wano. When I entered the office, when I ingira mu office, man of God Gave me holy water. I took that holy water. And I started drinking that holy water with my daughter Chantal. For sure, I had no school fees to pay for my daughter. By that time, she was three years. And, and she was supposed to go to school. So I was looking for a sponsor too. And also me, I had no husband. So when man of God gave me that water, I, I continued drinking that water while smearing it on my body and my daughter's body. When I was there, I went to town where I was working in a certain shop. And a white man turned up. When that white man turned up, he asked me where to buy gifts. He wanted to buy a gift for his mother. I told that white man where to go. He went and came back to me again. We started talking and I told the white man my problems. But he told me, Josephine, don't worry. I'll pay school fees for your daughter. I was so excited. Straight away, he started paying school fees for my daughter. And she went to school. When we shared contacts, that man went back to England. When he went back to England, he continued calling me and paying school fees for my daughter. And one day, I came around here again to bring my construction envelope. When I brought it, I went to the office to see a man of God. When I was outside waiting to see the man of God, I got a phone call from him. I did not receive it. I waited until I went to to, to see the man of God. When I went inside to see the man of God, when I went inside to see the man of God, Man of God gave me the anointing oil. When he gave me the anointing oil, I took that anointing oil. I started smearing it on my body. I started to put in my Vaseline. Everywhere I go, I used to apply that oil in my hands and every part of my body. When I reached home, I flushed the man. He called me back. He told me, Josephine, I want to marry you. I was too surprised. But not very, very surprised because I know the miracles which Jesus does. So when he, when he called me, 
I got my anointing oil. Nafuna mafuta ganga go mukisa. Again I upright on my body. Nani nga siga ku mbili gwange. I was like if it's true. Nenga ba ti bachi banga chitufu. He will come back again. He will Aja, call me back. Aja kudda mwa nkubire. Still that man called me. Ero mwa mio yadda mwa nkubira. Again I came back. Era ne nkomawo to build for Jesus Christ. Okuzimira Yesu Kristo. When I went back home. Bwena da yeka. Still the same day. He, he called me back. He told me Josephine, I'm very serious. I want to marry you. It's not a joke. So when he told me so, I told him no problem. He told me I'm coming over there. So he came around. He told me that he wants to see my parents. I took him to my parents. For a visit. When we went for a visit. He came with the ring. An engagement ring. And, and this is my engagement ring. He told me now I'm very serious. <laughs> he kneeled down. And he told me Josephine will you marry me? Nansaban ti Josephine ono mfumbirwa. I was very happy. Nasanyukanyo. I started crying. Nitandi ko kukaba. So I told him that here the way we do our things. We have to go through introduction. And I told him for me I don't want a marriage from a court. I want a marriage from a church. And he told me Josephine don't worry. I will do everything you want. But that's after when I have brought the construction envelope. After man of God prayed for me. He told me I'm going back so that I can tell my people about it. When he went back to England after that. He went and told his people about it. So after that, he started communicating with me. He, he gave me the dates. He told me start giving out cards. He came over. He, we looked for a house. So that's when he told me that now I would, we, we go and you introduce me to your parents. Officially. These are my photos. What shows that I introduced my husband to my parents. Here, when he's shaking my hand, giving a kiss to my hand, telling me that I'm such a wonderful lady. <laughs> and here, when we are dancing, when I was very excited to what God has done for me. And here, this is me, this is my husband, Gary Martin Nicholson. And this is my mother-in-law. And, and this is me and my husband waving to my visitors. Brethren, God did not stop there. Still, my husband told me that to Josephine, I would like to marry you officially in a whole marriage. Still, I did not refuse. We went to a church. And this is one of my photos. What shows that it's true. I was married in church. This is when I was sitting just before before the marriage. And this is when he was signing the certificate. The marriage certificate. And here when I was showing my marriage certificate with my husband. And this is when we are getting out from church. And this these are his friends from UK. All of them, it was their first 
time to come in Uganda but, and the all Africa. But now we go to Uganda. But all of those ones happened. After the prayers of man of God. And this is when I was feeding my husband. Serving him a cake. I'm very happy. And I thank God. For what he did for me. And after that. It was a Sunday. I came around here for prayers. Man of God was Preaching about getting getting visas and tickets. So when I went back after prayers, I went straight to bed. My husband woke me up with a piece of paper. I was wondering what was this. He told me, Josephine, this is a ticket. ticket. Which is going to take you to to India for our honeymoon. Brethren, I was so happy. And this is my ticket, which my husband bought for me to go to India. And these are my photos to show. Here I was in India, airport. I was so happy. And here, that's where our honeymoon was. A building called Taj Mahal. Very beautiful building. I was too surprised because I have never been there. And even to order a plane. It was my first time. So I cried to what Jesus has done for me. Brethren, I was very, very, very happy. You can see here, I'm posing in my happiness. Clap for Jesus. Jesus is a miracle worker. And my husband is a judge. He's a judge in the UK. I was very happy. I couldn't believe it. But brethren, this happened after the prayers of man of God. I thank God for what he did for me. So brethren, if you are there and you are looking for a white man and you are looking for a sponsor and you are looking for money and you are looking for good things there is nowhere you can get those good things. You will just get them here. Brethren, still God did me a miracle. Brethren, when I got pregnant, my husband is alone in a family. He told me that Josephine was pregnant, Josephine but I would like a baby boy. My answer was, don't worry. So I rushed. I came to Synagogue Church. When I came to Synagogue Church, I got my holy water. When I got the holy water, I got even the anointing oil. I started smearing on my body and on my tummy telling my baby inside that I want you to be a baby boy. And he went to the hospital. They told me that you have a baby boy. And here is my baby boy. He's called Sheldon Nicholson. And he's 11 months. I'm so happy. I thank man of God for what he did for me. Thank you, man of God. Thank you, man of God. Samuel Kakande. Prophet Samuel Kakande. For praying for me. And I thank Jesus Christ for what he has done for me. Thank you, man of God. Thank you, man of God. Glora and Honi go back to Jesus Christ. Clap for Jesus, the miracle worker.